tussle in Tallahassee. This is going to be a good 5-2 game. Notre Dame visiting Florida State first time. These two squads are getting together without a loss since the Knowles 1993 championship season. Hey everybody, Bonnie Bernstein, Pete Futak in our Campus Insider Studios previewing this game and let's talk quarterbacks. Jameis Winston, Everett Golson, who is more important to his respective team? Oh, they're both equally important to the respective team, but I think Everett Golson is going to be the bigger, the bigger picture guy here because he has to be fantastic. Jameis Winston just has more talent around him. He's got the better team, the better tools, the better playmakers, but Everett Golson knows how to win these kind of games. Jameis Winston does too, but if Jameis has a bad game, Florida State can still win this. If Everett Golson has a bad game, Notre Dame loses. Let's look at some numbers. Notre Dame, eighth-ranked defense, yielding 17 points a game. The Knolls put up 39. So what do the Irish need to do to stay more true to their number? They have just got to stop everybody else. Jameis is going to have his moments. He's going to have his big plays. He's going to do his thing. He's going to Jameis being Jameis. But this Notre Dame defense has got to stop the running game. they got to find a way to take away the key weapons. Nick O'Leary, Rashad Green, just sort of eliminate what they can do. Jameis, is, again, he's going to make his plays, but the Notre Dame defense has to bottle up everything. Can't be hit by the home run. Let Jameis dink and dunk a little bit. Just don't let him hit it deep on you. Winston really hasn't been much in the Heisman conversation nope. this year. This is probably the week he can do it. What does he have he to do? He can't do it. Well, first of all, you what he has so, to do really. is he has to erase his entire past because <laughs> the reason he's not in the Heisman ca campaign is because of all the off-field stuff that's going on. It has nothing to do with on the field. No, his numbers aren't as good as what they were last year. But with everyone else falling away, you look at what Marcus Mariota did losing to Arizona. Todd Gurley's gone away. You've got all these other key Heisman guys who are sort of falling back in the pack now that do Dak Prescott and maybe Everett Golson if he wins this game. But Winston, he's got to win this game, be fantastic, and he might be in the mix for New York. But again, the Crabs thing, the all the other stuff going on, I just know Heisman voters are just not going to want to make this guy the number the two time, second two-time Heisman winner. Well, this could shape up to be one of the best games of the season. If you want to see all the highlights, be sure to check out the Saturday Blitz on campus. Inside is a one programming note for you. We got Patriot League action on Saturday, 1 o'clock kick time. Lafayette visiting Harvard live and free to watch on any of your devices right here on campusinsiders.com.